ultrasonic coil level sensor, extension line, installation bracket, bracket wrench, craft app glue, high quality grease, ultrasound equipment for testing purpose, ceiling gasket, Attention, the ceiling gasket is for the aluminum alloy fuel tank, white aluminum alloy fuel tank. If not for an aluminum alloy fuel tank, no need to use this gasket. Abrasive paper. Before locate the insatiating spot, it's best to check if vehicle is parked at the horizontal flat place. The more horizontal, the easier to locate the installation spot. If possible, you can use the level meter on phone or bring your own level instrument. Take a look at the gradient of the fuel tank. Like this fuel tank, the gradient is about 1 degree. Better make it below 2 degrees. Sensor installation must keep away from the oil float or such obstacle where oil leaks. Our target area is in the middle of the length direction and the middle of the width direction. If it is not easy to locate the middle area, try our best. Avoid the obstacles for this fuel tank. This area is the target area on top of the tank. After determining an approximate position, we go to the same area at the tank bottom. The pointer on the oil gauge shows. The oil is about 50% of full tank. Use this ruler to measure the tank. Total height. Total height we see is about 50 centimeters. Paste the grease in this area and here is the sealed gasket. Fill grease full in the whole area. Look from this cross section. The grease is higher than the gasket. Connect sensor head with LCD display and power it with power bank. Then we are about to install the sensor. The most critical step is to locate the right spot. To locate the right spot, you can attach the sensor to the tank. Press it hard. You can gently spin a lid during pressing to squeeze out extra grease that we had just applied. Now the display shows a height data. It is 23.8 cm. As we just measured, the tank total height is 50 cm. 23.8 cm is around half of 50 cm. As we checked on our gauge, 23.8 cm complies with 50% of total fuel height. So, now after finding the right installation spot, do not the power bank. For the squeezed out grease, we need to remove them completely along the sensor. Make sure to clean up the grease. Pay attention to the display while removing the grease. Data on the display should be there. After the grease is cleaned up, check on the display data again. And then let's go to the next step. Then our next step is to install this. This bracket. We need to remove the screws first. This craft is specifically used to stick this bracket. It is a powerful add glue. When applying this glue, you don't need to apply it too much. Put the app glue all over the bracket. Apply a thin layer. Make sure the inner circle has no app glue. If there is, clean it up. Now we install the bracket. Let's go down to here. Here is a cut. The cut side is pointed at the place where the wire goes out. Then we gently pressed it up. Vertically. Try not to move position of sensor while press. Now we check the display data. The height data keeps same value. This process, after applying app glue, We have to wait for the glue to solidify. We can get a little more app glue. Pissed at the outer circle. With the app glue, to make the installation secure. To solidify app glue, it takes at least 10 minutes. Then you can install this plate. While in installing this plate, the display should always be connected. It means that the data can't be lost. After 8 minutes or so, 
The app glue has solidified completely. You can take a look at this hardness. Now we will install this. This cover plate. Make sure the data on the display does not disappear. And it is the correct data. When loading the cover plate, you can screw one side first. Then the other side. Tighten the two sides evenly with your hands. This is to ensure that the plate is flat under the sensor. Now use the wrench. Turn about. About 3 fourths of circle is OK. Then you check the data again. While looking for installation spot, sometimes there are blind spots like this, about 5 centimeters. Sometimes the data is blind area value and sometimes missed. In this case, the data is the wrong. So we have to change the point or try to move the position of the sensor again. This kind of data must be avoided. Just looks like about 5 centimeters. There are generally two situations in this situation. One reason is the tank is empty. The other is it is an aluminum fuel tank. Your ceiling gasket is not used. Weaver this data shows. Be sure to pay special attention to it. Also check on the oil gauge to avoid such installation spot.